Yes. Um, relationship. Yeah. Okay. A relationship would be someone in between a guy and a girl, of course, like we all would be part of. But dating you can also continu continuously do, even when after you're married, too, because you're going to be continuously going on dinner dates or going to a movie or something like that. Okay. Um, dating, I'll classify it. I don't know, you know, it's just, you know, two people doing their thing, they track it to one another. Uh, when I think of dating, what is it? People going out on dates with one another? Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so dating means like you're exclusive with someone, but you can go on dates and not be dating the person. Okay. So it has to be like exclusive boyfriend and girlfriend were dating. Okay. But there's a difference. I think the purpose of it would be just to get to know somebody, um, but I think at this age, at this age, and I'm still learning for myself, it's not really there's not really a point of dating now because I think it's to prepare us for marriage. All right, what does dating mean to you? Dating is preparation for marriage and um, trying to find the one that you're going to spend the rest of your life. Okay. Um, and would you say that was for Christians or both the world? I think that's more of a Christian worldview. Um, because nowhere in the Bible does it talk about dating just for fun. Okay. Define just for fun. Well, I believe that if you're not dating for marriage, you're dating to break up. So... Bad. It's not true. God, well, what he wants, it's false. <laughs> Amen. If you're just like fooling around, not really serious about this person and what they could mean to you, then it's just for fun and it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. He is mostly dating just for the feelings and emotions, not for the purpose of marrying. Uh, I think as a Christian, you should date someone that is a godly woman or a godly man and you should look to be marrying her not just for the pleasure of emotions and feelings. I don't know, I think you can do it outside of teenager, te your teenage years. I don't think it's limited just to being a teenager. I mean, I think it could be good, but it's nothing that can't be done later. Like, you don't, if you're not dating in high school and as a teenager, like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not required, but, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's necessary now. Yeah, I definitely think so. Like, for sure, go on dates is what I personally believe, because, like, how are you going to get to know people? But going on dates for the sole purpose of getting to know the purpose, not to just, like, screw around with each other or have fun, like, in today's, like, worldview, but... <laughs> I definitely think there's a difference, but like once you get to the point of dating, like you need to be at that point ready to unconditionally love that person and prepare yourself for marriage, like once you get to that step. Yeah, and like in a dating relationship, you want it to be centered around like God. And so once you are at that point of like dating, you need to make sure like all your desires are on the Lord and nothing is like straying away from that. So like also a big part of it is like being like spiritually ready for a relationship. Okay. Yeah, you can have like either people who are totally ready for dating relationships, aka like marriage, or you can have like on the other hand really immature like people because I think there's two ends of the sword. Like there's either like really immature or really mature, and like it just it just depends on where you stand and like yeah. But I do also think it's really rare to come across teenagers who are ready oh, yeah. for that point. Like that's like a huge commitment. So I think. A lot of kids who say they are ready, I personally, but that's a big judgment to make, but like a lot of kids I really don't believe they are ready for the point of marriage because they have such the mind of just the person and it's just like mm. the total love or whatever just mm. for the other person, but like it solely needs to be like based on the Lord and like you're never going to know like if you're ready for marriage or nothing if that like 
affirmation doesn't come from the Lord. So like, I think a lot of kids really like play with their minds to think they are ready, but I mean, who are we to tell them that?